Uh, also, we did a very comprehensive uh, literature review for these people who want to know more about uh, the, the geospatial technology methods. I refer to a published paper uh, in, 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 in a remote sensing journal and also in the international uh, journal IOP Science, uh, and they can uh, get more information about uh, geospatial uh, technology methods. Okay, uh, now we, we will come, we come to the methodology. This is the whole uh, flowchart, uh, maybe a little bit complicated, but uh, it, can, it can be split into four components. First, uh, developing the allometric equation, because as, as I told you, we have to work from the scratch. There is no allometric equation for date bound. Uh, then we have to uh, map the date bound plantation at different age stages using um, uh, I use Landsat and, and Worldview. We'll talk about that later. And then, which is the heart of the, uh, the work, the development remote sensing based uh, models, and uh, and then creating uh, the map and visualizing uh, the carbon uh, stack uh, and the biomass um, and quantify. So this is the uh, uh, the whole uh, methodology. So let's start with developing the allometric equation. Uh, for, uh, for, for developing allometric equation, we, we, we select uh, 15 date bound um, from different uh, farms in, in uh, close to Al Ain, in Masak, in Qatara, and Salamat. And, and they are also different in age classes uh, young, medium, and mature. So, three age classes uh, we, we consider them. And also, uh, this is very important, we try our best to, 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 to represent or to present the, the different cultivars of uh, date farms in, in, in United Arab Emirates, uh, because there are a lot so different cultivars or varieties used uh, in, in, in building the allometric equation. Okay, well, after we select them, select the plant, we um, uproot them and uh, partition them to four parts, uh, crown, trunk, and root system, and weigh them also. And we take some measurement uh, um, from, the, uh, from the date pump itself, the diameter breast height, the number of crown, crown diameter, crown area, and palm height, and, palm, and trunk height, and crown. And yes. No, go, go, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, and then um, we take some samples um, uh, to the lab uh, from the biomass, the crown and trunk, and uh, also the root, and also sample from the soil. And we run uh, analysis to, in order to, uh, um, to, to calculate the percentage of carbon in the biomass and also the soil organic carbon. Um, uh, that, that that in the area that uh, dominated by by data. So this is the, our allometric equation. We have uh, uh, we found that crown area is the best predictor for uh, to, to to calculate the crown biomass, and we found that the trunk height is the best for to to uh, calculate the trunk uh, biomass, and of course to to. To calculate the above ground biomass, we have to to sum both uh, the both the crown and the trunk. So this is the allometric equation that we will be used uh, in, in our 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 research. Also, we extract uh, very important uh, figures here that uh, about 53.87 percent of uh, the date palm tree of the biomass is carbon. And, and also the soil organic carbon we calculated uh, uh, by 22 by, uh, 26 ton uh, for a, the hectare or dominated by the, the date bar. So this is about the allometric equation. Now I will go to the mapping date palm plantation in the Emirates of Abu Dhabi. Uh, we, for mapping, we run a, a hierarchical integrated approach using multi-source and multi-sensor uh, data. We use Landsat uh, 8 uh, images uh, and, and also Worldview 2 uh, images. For, the, for, for Landsat, uh, we use Landsat for tourism to, uh, to map the land, use land cover, uh, and also to uh, create a vegetation bitmap. 
Uh, and uh, of course, we run a pre-processing, uh, stacking, and also we run a, a sp a spatial enhancement uh, to to enhance the spatial resolution of uh, Landsat to 30 to, to 15. Uh, and then we run a hybrid uh, classification, including unsupervised and supervised classification, in order to come uh, to classify the, the images. Uh, uh, to seven classes of land use land cover and and these images uh, this Im land use land cover map then recoded uh, to, to build a vegetation uh, a bit map let's see this is the land use land cover uh, map of Abu Dhabi with seven uh, classes as you see here and then we uh, recode the non-vegetated uh, classes to be uh, zero and vegetated uh, class to be one. So we create the vegetation big map and using the vegetate, uh, vegetated area, area here to run again the, the hybrid classification, super, uh, unsupervised and supervised classification, but here to, uh, to classify the vegetated area to two classes, date palm and non-date palm or other vegetated area. Um, as you see here, and here maybe I enlarge it a little bit, and we see that the Liwa and and, and the Lain, uh, maybe the most date palm plantation here uh, founded in Abu Dhabi. Um, one thing here, one important thing I have to say here, that land yeah, landsat eight only um, can only depict the mature date palm and can fail to depict the uh, uh, the the non-mature dick palm, the, the, the medium and young. And that's why we now, uh, we, we use the uh, uh, world view uh, uh, image with some meter uh, um, uh, to, 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 to classify uh, the date bonds to three, uh, three, age, uh, three classes, the mature, medium, and the, uh, the young. Uh, of course, we run some uh, pre-processing, uh, stacking, pan sharpening, because the world view is, uh, the, the spatial resolution is two, so we run pan sharpening to, to make it submeter, and then we run uh, object-oriented classification here. Uh, why? Because um, the advantage is here uh, to, to run object-oriented classification is uh, to consider not only the spectral aspect of the pixel, but also uh, uh, the spatial aspect of the object, which is the crown, uh, uh, the crown of the uh, of date palm, and and also the the size, uh, the, the the texture, and, and other things. And um, um, and here, this is the this is a subset from uh, uh, world view, and we can visually uh, differentiate the date palms. The, what, what you see here in in in, in red color is. Um, a green uh, or a vegetation because here this is this is uh, represented in false color uh, so uh, uh, we can differentiate date bound easily visually uh, by uh, uh, from other uh, other other trees from the grasses from the background and this is important to, to run the object oriented classification because a first step is to delineate uh, or, or uh, digitize the crown of date bound uh, as an object uh, uh, and, and also to differentiate them from other or what what they call in, in background the others. Uh, uh, we run this object-oriented classification in Erdas Imagine, and 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 they have uh, this is how it looks. Like. They have something they call teacher model a tree. It's like um, a several uh, nodes or child nodes or process nodes. You can use all of them. Or part of them, and you can and, and you can you can apply it on a small area, and then you can optimize your your parameters by by uh, uh, trial and error, and then when you are happy with that, you can generalize to the whole uh, world view uh, scenes. Uh, um, so uh, to, to to just simplify thing here. Uh, it, it consists of um, the feature uh, feature model uh, tree consists of two parts: the raster analysis and vector analysis. And raster here, you, uh, you as I said, you identify date palm crown and 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 uh, to 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 create uh, 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 like a big map uh, or uh, uh, that just you have you have the big the highlighted pixel will be the crown 
of the big bang, and uh, and then you can dif differentiate or, 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 or classify these crowns according to their uh, crown diameter, um, and then you convert it to uh, to vector. Uh, and then you can do the cleaning up of your vector manually in GIS mode. You can do it in RDAS. For my case, I prefer to, 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 to go to ArcGIS to do editing and, and, and cleaning up the vector layer. So uh, in, in, in your left hand, this is the, how it looks like, that this subset from the uh, Data bank fund in, in, in here in Abu Dhabi, and after we uh, after we apply the object oriented classification, we can classify them to mature, medium, and young. And then we, of course, for each map produced, we we run a accuracy assessment for for each map. And the, the most important thing that the date bound uh, uh, map uh, with three edge. Uh, uh, different three age, different stages. And we get overall classification accuracy uh, around 94.7%, which is excellent. And, and overall CAPA statistic 0 0.888. And then we can calculate the area. And we found that an area that dominated by or occupied by that part. And we found that uh, 7,500 uh, uh, he hectare of, uh, of date palms in Abu Dhabi. And, and we, this is one of the byproduct of the research, and we can account them also. And we, uh, we found that around 9 million date palms of uh, uh, date palms in, in Abu Dhabi. And, and also, yeah, it's classified by the, uh, their age also. 